two of them. But you know, there are also other uh, organizations, and you know, people say a long time ago, what was the what was so beneficial? Of, and I hate to bring this up, but I think it's a fact. What what was the outturn of the uh, a result of the Million Man March? And one of the things I do know is that lots of organizations, particularly men's groups, got together to address violence, everything from programs, some of the people that we've had on this show, uh, their organization started as a result of the pledge that they took at the Million Man March. Well, I don't know if these two young men were actually there at the time, but uh, they may have been involved in other organizations that caused them to create a program called Community Connoisseurs. And I am, again, very excited about bringing on President uh, Don Vito, uh, Premier, and his Vice President, Charles Gussum, uh, to talk about community con connoisseurs, uh, whose motto is, create your own greatness. Charles, I've known you for years, so I'm so proud of all the work that you've been, been doing. And Don Vito, I'm, I'm excited about this program. Tell us about community connoisseurs. So first and foremost, Ms. Boz, I want to say thank you for opening up your platform to allow us to share um, some of the work that we're doing. We're just ecstatic to be here. Um, but Community Commons is built for three pillars, youth development, mentorship, and entrepreneurship training. With youth development, we promote um, youth development through activities and um, experiences that develop social, emotional, ethical, and physical competency. And with that, what we do is we, we have an abundance of youth between the ages of 8 and 18 who get together and we take their community and have a couple of um, annual um, philanthropic um, events that we do. One being the head free, um, clothing drive, where we um, have the youth create their own donation campaign where they, um, they're they able to do donations for clothes and things that we go and we um, have a day where we go out and give those close out to the homeless. But before that, we actually explain the value of philanthropy, uh, of giving back and philanthropy. And we also um, educate them on how some of the individuals um, who are in the situations they're in um, end up in that situation and why it's so valuable for them to help. Um, also, we do mentors. We have about eight mentees right now. We are actually recruiting three more. Um, and those are individuals who do exactly what the gentleman that, that was just on service role positive role models for the youth a lot of our youth are coming from vulnerable communities so outside of the household they need that individual that can serve as their positive influence in their, in their lives and through right. our entrepreneurship um, what we've identified is a lot of the youth that we deal with have dreams and aspirations for being entrepreneurs themselves so with that we create um platforms where we educate them on how to build, build business plans, how to go down to the DCRA and apply to be a limited liability company, and also if they're interested in nonprofit work, how to apply for their 501c3s and things of that nature. I mean, this all sounds fantastic. And um, I know that you, uh, you uh, what is it, you, t you walk the talk. Charles and Don Vito, so I'm so happy to meet you. Your mom says hi, and so I know she, you must do the same because um, she sounds like she's very proud of you just in the way she said hey. So uh, give us a little bit more. I mean, what? Why did you all decide to start this program? You know, is it, first of all, thank you, as Charlie mentioned, uh, Ms. Bonds, for having us on your platform. It's just a, a honor to be here. I've been following the uh, Washington Forum for quite a while. Believe it or not, my first inspiration into charity work was through your father, Dr. Calvin Golot. Wow. I actually had the opportunity to um, attend the I Love Life um, and Want to Live campaign. It was, it was something that I would never forget. I was probably about 13, 14 years of age at the time. Wow. Um, with that being said, um, it was the end of the end of year 2016, during the election period, when the individual was elected for the director of HUD. And one of the comments that was made on the new channel was how they were going to go into the inner cities and the communities. So we had already been doing the work. We just thought it was time for us to be more pro proactive within mm -hmm. that realm. So we formed the community kind of stores and we started going right into the community and doing those works, providing individuals with mentors. And as you may know, out there is to take the village. So we're, we are that village. Um, as far as me, um, where I come from, I actually had encounters with the system and things like that. So, um, you know, there's a saying, you know, Tony, Tony Lewis was on, and um, shout out to Tony Lewis. He was on our program about three weeks ago, The Moment of Truth, which we do every Thursday, 
But um, a lot of the stuff he says is exactly what it is. It takes the individuals that have been through these, these trials and tribulations to become the best teaching to these youth out there um, that's in the street that may not have the opportunity that's necessitated to be, to, to, to be tremendous. Wonderful. So, I mean, ha, t tell us about any of your successes. I mean, we do have a lot of folks that talk about, you know, these programs and, and it's great work, but we aren't always able to document the success. So yeah. what, what do you think have been some of the successes? Well, the success is that, um, for instance, we run a program called the TIA program, the Intelligent Boxer. It was actually inspired from Mr. Gene Hughes, the late Gene Hughes. When I was growing up, about 14 years old, I used to go from school to Midtown Boxing. And we would, you know, box and things like that. And with some of the fundamentals to boxing, they actually developed me and fought of myself. So we created a program called Intelligent Boxer. And what we did is we took the fundamentals of boxing and we uh, co collaborated with potential life skills. And through running that program, which is a six, six week program, we actually had the opportunity to see kids learn how to present, um, as Charlie was saying, to establish an LLC or to uh, develop a, um, a resume or to even tie a tie. I mean, it's so amazing what some individuals that come from the communities we come from don't know about the things it takes to be successful, to be able to thrive in this society. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, Char like yeah, Charles. To, really quick, I just like to also add one of the most recent successes is one of our actual mentees who will be on shortly, Matthew Taylor. He has been accepted to Harvard University and he was, uh, he's been with us and he was about eight years old actually. Wow. So that's one of the huge successes. And I don't want to talk too much. I know he's going to tell you all a lot about, about his journey, but definitely Matthew is one of our <laughs> latest and greatest. Yes, indeed. Um, well, you couldn't have, you couldn't have uh, provided me a better segue than than that, Charles. I appreciate you again for doing that, and we're gonna uh, bring on um, uh, natural uh, Don Juan Taylor. Um, uh, and this is your son, Don Vito. Is that right? Absolutely, that is my uh, bright young son that I'm proud to say. And, and, and indeed, uh, natural was in the beginning process of forming the community connoisseurs, um, and he's been through every program that we have. And uh, I guess it's best to let them know some of the things that he experienced to these programs. Well, this, you when they say it takes a village, this is the village. And congratulations, um, Natural. I'm so glad that you were able to join us. Hey, Denise. I, I know you're looking First forward to- Thank you for having me today. Yeah, um, yeah. To speak you know, about community counselors and about my experience so far. And um, just- Go go ahead, go on. Okay, so I think we're frozen. We're going to make sure that um, he gets. Can you hear me? Um. So, community. Connoisseurs, yes, I, I can hear you. I heard you okay. say uh, village just now, and I was going to say that community connoisseurs has for me been a huge part of that village. Um. So I hear people, you know, speak about organization, um, service organizations of, of different types and things like that. But what I've seen is that when it comes to organizations, uh, you have to. It really just comes down to the people, I would say. And when it comes to community connoisseurs, I, I'd say that um, their accomplishments or our accomplishments definitely speak for us. You know, with our involvement in the community, our our food drives, our supply drives, and whatnot, and our programs that we have to help with the youth. But I think um, that the people. At community connoisseurs, you know, such as my father, such as Uncle Charlie, Uncle Mike, you know, Aunt Elizabeth. There's there's a variety of individuals who all have come together and who all are really about it, right? So that's well, we froze again, um, but you're not going anywhere because one, we're very happy and excited about what your next steps, uh, going off to college, going to Harvard and uh, representing the community. And I'm gonna tell you, Charles and Don Vito, my heart is warm. I'm telling you, it's very warm uh, because you all have done so well. And this is what we are talking about in our community. It just happens to be a son, but that goes back to the issue of the village, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it takes the village to raise our children. And so, you know, you all have exemplified that. And so we're gonna take a little break because, you know, at this point, uh, we're we're going to segue to uh, WI Bridge uh, TV. So, um, uh, yeah, we want Natural to rejoin. So come back in again. Chevy will take care of that part. We're going to bring on the uh, bridge crew, Claudia Watts, to continue this interview uh, because we're, we, we want to bridge. We're, we're building the bridge, right? Wonderful.
Yes. We DC, we, I mean, uh, uh, old school informer. Yeah. I think this is great, but this is, we want to bring the link. So I'm going to sign off. Before We're going to take a, off, sure. I, I just want to thank you again, Ms. Bond, for Absolutely. you and the whole team at Washington Informer. And you just such an inspiration of some of the work we do. So thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. well, I, I, it, it's, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't continue to do it if people like you didn't inspire me to keep going. So uh, I'm just happy for you. So um, anyway, we're going to take a break, uh, and then you'll be back with Claudia from uh, WI Bridge, and we'll talk soon. All right. See you soon. All right. See you in a second. Okay.